Hey guys, what's going on? It's uh, Sheriff AB here from Sheriff AB Films. If you guys haven't seen my last uh, three episodes of uh, the Sheriff AB Film show that I just started, uh, make sure you go watch them. I'll put each video in the link in the description below. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my plush collection. Like I got a couple collections of toys that I use for uh, filming my uh, plush tube series here. Like I got uh, these plushies here and of course my uh, Toy Story toys and I'll course show you the uh real main character which is this woody doll here but um uh, i use this 1996 woody doll here and yes he still works uh yeah uh see i even put my name on him uh, he's from Thinkway 1996 model, and you can tell he's a 1996 model because he doesn't have the uh, the bendy uh, metal poles in his legs that help him pose, and his pull string ring is uh, bigger here. Now, I have a movie accurate Woody doll, which I will show you right now. Here you guys go. Um, this is the movie accurate Woody doll. I don't plan on really using him for uh, the plush tubing series because uh, this guy's more of a trophy to me because I finally uh, got a hold of a movie accurate Woody doll and I modded him a little bit with a movie accurate badge and a movie accurate hat. Might update his head and hands because uh, his paint feels looks a little too textured here and he's got a And I got a backup Woody for uh, messy scenes, which uh, this Woody doll's got a little bit of history right here. I used to film plush tubing videos with my brothers back when we were younger, and this was one of my brother's old Woody dolls, and he's torn up, and my brother gave him to me. He told him I can, he, he told me I could use him for whatever I wanted. Uh, I took out his voice box because uh, if I plan on getting him messy, I want to make sure he's machine washable, and I'm scared if I put him in the dryer. When he's done, he's, uh, his voice box is going to explode and cause a house fire, so don't want that to happen, but definitely just want to show off that I got this Woody that I call Dummy Woody. Now to the plushies. So, um, I don't know why this alarm, ah, crap. There's an alarm clock in my bin, had to get it out. Uh, first one I want to show off is the first one I grabbed, I guess it fell out. Uh, I guess you could call this one Furry Mario. I don't really know the uh, real name of him. Damn! If you guys uh, know his name, then uh, put it in the comments below. Uh, I got Waluigi. I got uh, Wario too. I got Spider-Man. I got Thanos. Bought this guy for literally a dollar at a uh, store called Hyperspace Toys in my town. This was a steal because I got a really banger idea for uh, my series for season one coming up that involves him. I got Tie-Dye Foxy, which uh, he's uh, played by my uh, best friend, uh, Mutant Florida Man, aka General. He plays him and uh, he does a really good job with his voice here. All right. Candy's bound to be a nerd. Oh, would you look at that? There's something I need to blow up right there as we speak. And the man's got me some cheddar jalapeno Cheetos. I'll just take the action figure though. It's already bad enough that I'm stealing one thing. Uh, here's Montgomery Gator from FNAF Security Breach. Uh, one of my favorites right here is Candy. He's from, he's part of the uh, Fazbear Fanverse Initiative, which they made a Funko plush of him and I really love it because he's, uh, he's just adorable. Here we got Tie-Dye Chica, which I plan on maybe being the girlfriend of uh, Tie-Dye Foxy, you know, like a whiny, whiny kind of petulant girlfriend, but that's just an idea right there. I got regular Foxy from Wave 1 right here. Wave 1 Bonnie. I got Donkey Kong right here. Mario. Baby Mario and Baby Luigi. I got Stitch. I got High Score Chica here. I got Tie-Dye Bonnie right here. Looks really similar to uh, Wave 1 Bonnie, but difference in color and maybe the shape of the eyes a little bit. I believe this is Mangle, which I got a hold of her with the uh, with a pack of Wave 1. Uh, this one is uh, Tie-Dye Mangle, I think. Tie-Dye Mangle. 
I think that is what her name is, tie-dye mangle. I got Liberty Chica here. I uh, plan on using her at some point, maybe as like a, uh, as the judge of the series, you know, like a judge in the court of law, because she looks like she would totally be that. Dark Blue Yoshi, the only Yoshi character I got right now. Roxanne Wolf, which is played by my, uh, sister Nola. And, uh, I used to have Vanny, but I gave Vanny and my sister, uh, Nola, or not Nola. Lucy, here I got, uh, Freddy from Wave 1. Uh, this... This guy right here, uh, I think his name is Lakitu. My brother Gus gave me this uh, this guy. Really like him. I got VR Freddy. Playing on him having kind of a robotic voice. Maybe with a voice filter I can edit into Vegas uh, Pro 20, which is the editor I use, by the way. I got Wave 1 Chica right here. Took me a while to get a hold of her because any other time I tried to buy Wave 1 Chica, they always gave me a bootleg and scanned for me. Pretty much an idiot in disguise. Here we got Shy Guy. Got him not too long ago. I got Bowser. He, he was an expensive plushie. He was like freaking almost 40 bucks. And I bought him at Target, so no, I don't think I got scammed, but uh, he's a very special kind of plush. I mean, he's a decent size uh, plush. I got Furry Luigi. Damn! And I got Luigi when he's not visiting a furry convention right here. I got Springtrap, my only Wave 3. Uh, character now the problem with me recollecting some other characters from other waves is that some of them are expensive like the ones from wave 2 the ones from wave 1 and of course wave 3 but luckily my brother Gus gave me this one so I got spring trap here I got stitch dressed as Dracula here uh, actually here's my other uh, wave 2 uh, character from FNAF I got Toy Freddy, which his hat's kind of falling apart, and he's definitely, he was my first uh, FNAF plush I ever got. As you can tell, he's been taken care of. Well, not taken care of, but, you know, he's been loved unconditionally. And he's that one old toy of mine that I've never really had the need to get rid of because he's kind of sentimental to me. Last FNAF plush uh, is... Uh, tie-dye Freddy and my uh, brother Henry is going to be playing him in the series and uh, the idea is since my brother Henry well something you should know about my little brother Henry he uh, we believe he's on the autism spectrum which is why he has a hard time communicating with words but he's getting way better so you can at times understand him but at other times you can't you just got to really pay attention to him but uh, he wanted to uh, help out with the uh, plush tubing. And uh, the idea for Blake, his character that he plays, which he owns, by the way, is that Blake is on the spectrum, but Tie-Dye Freddy and Tie-Dye Bonnie, who uh, he also plays, is uh, they are foreigners from some random country. Kind of like a uh, running gag, like, a, you know, how Fez's country from that 70s show was a mystery. Well played, you son of a bitch. <laughs> And finally, uh, I got big plans for this character. He's a scary looking clown. I plan on him uh, being a villain in a video. I have some uh, have some big plans for him. Uh, he has a voice box, but I think he is, uh, I think it's dead, but I don't really care. I just got the uh, clown toy. It's, it's actually from Spirit Halloween Store, but yeah. So yeah guys, this is my entire plushie collection that I own personally. I'm sorry that I couldn't show you characters like Vanny, Pop Goes, which is a character in the future that I'm going to be having on my show, played by uh, Henry and Blake the Badger of course, but they own those characters so uh, I couldn't show them in this video. Sorry about that, but uh, this is my plushie collection of 2024. I will definitely be making update videos on uh, new plushies I get and definitely some new Toy Story toys that I get. In fact, if you guys want me to have make a quick video of my Toy Story collection for you guys. Uh, for this channel, I will definitely show you guys it. As of right now, this is the plushies, and I know I don't know whether Woody would be considered a plush or not, or a doll. Uh, let me know in the comments below. But I definitely want to show him off because he's uh, one of the main main characters from the show. So uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, 
comment down below and please subscribe and turn on notification bell so you don't miss a single video. This has been Sheriff Amy, out. Peace out.